Uh, so that work of performing, acting out, being present in the world, and just the complexity of what it is. Um, I wrote a book about depression. I, I kind of feel like my ass is hanging out um, yeah, in that book because it has a lot of personal <laughs> stuff. I write about the difficulty of um, writing a dissertation first book, but I also insist on trying to tell that story in a way that doesn't pathologize it. Um, I try to like sit down and look at my feelings, uh, like live them, be present for them in a way that doesn't uh, refuses to use the nomenclature that I think is so reductive that's often given to us by medical categories like depression or trauma and just to re-describe. So I think that's another mm -hmm. connection between or why I respond to your work of documenting intimacy in the everyday because I think there's so much again that we are not getting. Um, even though in the case of uh, feeling like depression, it's kind of, uh, again, seems to be very well documented. There are tons of memoirs, there are tons of stories, there are lot, lots, lots of scientific information about medication, about drugs, and so on. And to me, the real story, um, and part of the real story for me is that capitalism, racism, separation from other people, the pseudo-connectedness of social media, and so on, is actually the thing that's killing us. And one form that that um, killing us takes is this feeling bad about ourselves, that you know, women's culture has been very good at trying to both identify, you know, make us feel worse about ourselves because mm -hmm. we're too fat or we don't look the right way, and so on. Um, is a very important locus for the epidemic of what gets called depression. I wanted to just find a way to think about it, talk about it, write about it differently. I wanted to be able to do that as a creative and artist type person who could learn from my own experience, you know, kind of classic feminist consciousness raising, uh, but uh, kind of a fuck you to science, to the forms of authority that are given to us, and to just take my lowly, humble, queer, lesbian world as a place that I could turn to in order to make something up um, mm -hmm. about depression. Um, so part, actually, I brought us back to things like zine culture and what it has enabled us a form of knowing. But I would also connect it back to this um, current work of yours in that I feel like uh, I find kinship there in that you are willing to risk the, the messy, complicated feelings of being a human being in the world right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and to, to look at stuff that is uncomfortable. And you know, to laugh at it, mm -hmm. uh, to have unpredictable feelings in relation to it. But I think, I think both of us share that is sort of a, a fascination mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. um, with, with, uh, with feelings that are a bit off. Um, mm -hmm. and with, with trying to find ways to scrutinize them, look at them, name them, share them with other people, uh, and to see what happens. Mm -hmm. I, I remember, like, I think it was when I was at Michigan taking those photographs for Outpost, having a conversation, like a meal conversation with you and Gretchen about political depression. And it was such a good light bulb. I was like, political depression? Oh, I know that. Like, I have that. And maybe, is it, wait, was that an election year? There was something, something, something was going on. Wait, what was this? 2005? Oh, it was after, it was, it was the, it was the, um, it was something, anyways. But I remember just that, just you guys using that phrase, political depression, and, and this idea of like, because um, you know, when you think about depression, you think about it as an individual experience, and it really opened up this thing that there could be a collective depressive experience, that a group of people could feel sad together, or disappointed, or kind of crushed, or you know, um, emotionally jarred, or something like that. I was really interested in that non-isolationist kind of point of view. 
And then I guess I would say in relationship to this work, which is about the solo performer primarily, although sometimes there are more than one individual, um, there is something about vulnerability and this sort of codependence on an audience that I'm really interested in, in this kind of performance and in comedy where more than any other form, I think, of expression, that you get up there by yourself and you your job is to have the whole audience follow an arc with you. And if you don't, you're, you die. Basically, you're dying up there when you fail to do that. Um, I'm just really fascinated in that, in that, that, um, pressure, I guess. I think we're, we're getting yeah, we're a getting time. Getting the high signal, sign. right? Yeah. Um, what time is it? Are we, should we it's, open? Yeah. Yeah, we should. I mean, there's